I am now live after not coming on here for such a long time hi everybody good night good night as usual me with my nocturnal self hope everybody's doing all right it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while couple weeks to be exact but that's how we move then we can schedule it you know <laughs> we just you know the mood and do it I saw them thing I go yeah so blessed everybody well, go on on the night on the week on the days dear things in Jamaica you know too mm. somebody's requesting to be in the video hmm I'm not really accept no um, video requests right right now there are a few things I want to touch on and then jump off of the live again. So, we just want to get through that. Alright, so bless up everybody. Good night. Hope everybody is doing alright. Um, yeah, bless up yourself. So, see, just go and watch here. And bless up everybody who are coming to come. I want some more people come in so we can talk about the little things them. Just a few things to say. There's so much going on. So much. Your Prime Minister said if you're sick, still go on Kaimnango. Get your no health care without your vax. <laughs> Aye, sir. You know, say that the funny agenda. Yeah, man. The funny agenda, man. Like. What a statement. Eh? What a statement. I tell you them people are brave with them agenda and them brave bad. Um, but I asked this question on my radio show. I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. By the way, my radio show, let me just tell you, because I'm going to post every time because I saw me stay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I FM. In Jamaica, 107.1 to 9. And internet rfm.net so beg on please when you not get on a chance just listen to me funny radio all right funny radio may have more time me do me show them a four hours each and between the music and the commentary we all have good vibes all right so bless up all of my radio listeners then okay so since you know kick off with the topic about the prime minister may have, may have that for my agenda so i got to talk about it but more, more people make more people come in tell me how no day i go so far everything all right how's your week been so far as it is now when we make it through the week we have to like just give extra thanks because so much things have won um just want to send out get well to Kurt Wright, the TVJ um, reporter, who it was reported earlier had been stabbed several times. Um, so the report said that he was in stable condition, so we give thanks for that. All right, hope he will recover soon. And the same goes out for everybody, every victim of violence and crime in Jamaica, because that's probably the biggest topic. The biggest topic right now of violence and crime in Jamaica is something where it just seems like the people them who are supposed to do something about it, them not have the power to do it, them not have the will, or I don't know what to say, but them just keep on repeat the same thing over and over, which is the state of emergency, and it now it na quell the crime. It just toned down the crime for like a short period of time, the, whatever time, them in the area for, and then back to square one, or even worse. So, yeah, that's going to be the biggest topic. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good night. Um, yeah, um, all right, so no... Um, we're going to talk about the whole hospital thing, but the first thing we really want to talk about and get out of way is the uproar we're going with dance hall and reggae business. Um, 
there's an uproar because some female artists come and tell with them business them one of them Leela she come and say um she said a lot of stuff she said a lot of things there's a lot we could get out of what she said and there's a lot of mixed messages but um one message was quite obvious and it's her declaring her um choice of sexuality um then on the heels of her doing that we saw jada kingdom as well come out and say that and then after that now we see spice get booked for one show canada which is like all the uproar but for me with spice it's more like less of a thing because she go perform on a show she says she has show support to her fans the machine not discriminate against no one and we never really see spice as somebody who are trying to say oh she's so righteous and she's so you know she's so against those things i've never really seen that um, so I don't feel surprised and then based on the genre that she's doing too, I don't feel surprised. I just feel like a lot of people are more surprised over Leela because the genre, so you have to understand something, the genre has to do with what's happening. Alright, so make way, let us just break it down in a few minutes. I don't want it to take up most of my time tonight, but I just say, you know, since I'm commenting, and things to do with Jamaica and this is like the latest in my industry all right so here's the thing the culture and the genre have a lot to do with what happens when an artist come forward and tell you about them life now whether it was them did I tell you about them choice of sexuality or say them a gunman or them a thief or them beat man or whatever um there are some things that the culture will accept some the culture will not and the culture is a thing we create like over a period of time it get to what it is right so you're not gonna find say overnight the culture just go fall apart and um things which weren't accepted become fully accepted there will be some acceptance because really and truly resisting or going against certain norms in any culture any art form is going to bring some type of reaction because music create feelings right so here's my take on it when i was working this week i made one comment about it i said um what we really need to learn and what I have learned and what I have been doing my best to do is to like the music or love the music without falling in love with the artist. Now, even I haven't been able to fully achieve that. So I know it's a very hard thing. People are attached to people based on how people come at them. So she come at us like with a reggae revival kind of vibe a natural kind of vibe a more conscious kind of vibe where i feel say people did a look for in the music whether true a female or male artist it no matter people were looking for that at the time when she appeared maybe around 2018 so was when she really you know start to get the attention so your fine said that I will come with certain labels, no matter how you not like it, it will come with certain labels. It will come with the label of um, being a conscious person, singing conscious lyrics. It will come with the label of even Rasta, even when you don't have locks. Because the truth is we have to attribute the righteousness in reggae music to Rasta people and then bring that. You understand? So it's like for the fans and for the people and the culture is a contrary thing happen right with she now no matter what the culture say and no matter how we feel or what we believe she still a go be she and choose where she choose i just feel say the way how it hang isn't the way it should that it hang because what you know she say somebody did a trick for expose her when you have something for expose, that means you did have something for hide. Right? 
So she said, all right, let me jump ahead of the person and tell the people them whatever these people did I got expose me for. Me, I got just do that. Um, the way how it do too is like so many messages. In one of the messages, she said she was molested, suggesting this happened as a child. In the other one, it said raped. Now, my heart goes out to every rape victim and every person who's ever been molested. It's one of the worst things that can happen to anybody because it's like they never really live it down. You know, they always have it in the back of their head and it affects them life in a whole heap of ways. A lot of people, rape victims, some of them never ever talk because, you know, the, the whole embarrassment and everything will come with it. So, for me, um, if a person is making a choice on their sexuality... I just think it don't come off good that you are putting rape and molestation in the mix as maybe a reason why. Um, also saying that all men have ever done to you is bad. Um, well, maybe that's a bit exaggerated because we see it's a man contribute positively to our career. Right? Because is a man bring our forward to it, don't um what else she say again and then at the end she come back and she say her tweets them based on mental health issues what she had got through so we are looking for rape and molestation uh, mental health issues and a choice when you try to tie up them three something you know it's just like confuse the people them you know what i mean like okay fine you come and you say this but before you said it, you said a lot of these other things, meaning you're making a way for what you wanted to say. And I don't feel like that should have been the way, you know, especially for an artist who is just come up and coming still. Um, you know, an artist who we, I should say, we, um, we should really expect for everybody to be the same. And we shouldn't really think that everybody is going to, you know, be what we want them to be. But she should have just come and tell her. We say, all right, I me this. I this me choose and deal with it instead of the precursors. The precursors kind of make the whole situation a bit shaky. Um, and then the videos that followed, one of them that I saw definitely made me question mental health so when she came and said that afterwards i wasn't surprised um some people are seeing the mental health um post also as a cop out uh but hi good night everybody but um i really think that she was having some or is having some mental health issues as a matter of fact she said she's been having um these things happen to her um, for years, she probably traumatized from the rape incident, the molestation, and whatever else. I don't know. I am just saying that as a professional, it never handled professionally. That's, that's how we see it. And the second part is that the culture, the culture now is going to determine what happens to this girl's music because as i have said for me i have learned all right just coming in when i just was coming into the business i got to know a few artists and getting to know a few artists made me realize something artists are people artists do things where you would never dream of artists tell lie artists beat woman artists rape artist thief artist lie artist scam artists do all manner of things artists are pedophile artists they are just people and i know everybody either um i go suit your expectation or fulfill where you think them is that's why even though it hard for swallow when me say this because me talk with some industry people and them i said boy amber me not agree with you when you say people for separate the individual from the artist because 
you can't come and say one thing and then you do another or you live the next way. But it's always been that way since the beginning of time. Artists are sing how much song we fall in love with. And then when we find out about who them is or what them are do, we feel some type of way. So we have to start asking ourselves now, or what we like or what we love. Are the music or are the person? Hard to separate, like I said, don't get me wrong, I understand how people feel. Some people say wolf in a sheep clothing, some people say deceitful, some people say this, some people say that. But no matter how you want to say that it now go change the facts of them, people are still going to do what they do behind closed door and behind on the back and sometimes they're not even going to know. Sometimes they're not going to even know the things they do, may I tell you no. Some of them artists are some terrible people, them have some terrible character. You understand? So, what, what we are going to do? Alright, some, peop some people we have to deal with it is, Oh, I'm not going to deal with, with fear music again. I'm not going to play her music again. Um, she asks a valid question. If the music changed. No, the music not changed, but it's the feelings that are going to change. So, anyway, she take it. She can't get around the facts that people have feelings towards her. And the image that she portrayed don't match her real life. So, at this other people them have an issue. Your image, what you bring to we, don't match the life where you live. People are going to see them things there and feel some type of way. Because music involves emotions and feelings and all of that. Um, me just feel as me said, never handled professionally. I don't think this was the time, one, for her to come and say that. She panicked because she feel like somebody ago um, blackmail her. And in panicking, send out all of them mixed messages there. The culture just now go really um support that. You'll find a few people support her. I find it hard to just say, oh, my God, that's all our song them. I really do. I honestly do. Um, I'm more of a, I always try to balance with everything in her life. Because like when it comes to people, a personal choice now, like that. Uh, me not see when me can't do nothing about that. No matter how much fire me want to come and burn. Them still are going to do what them do anyway. Right? Sis Sizzla, I, I try appeal to to uh, Spice there. And Spice just joke it out and say, Bobo, come make me wrap out your turban and give you wine. You see me? So no matter how much we say these things, them still are going to do what them do. So, uh, the culture, as me say now, the culture are go determine what happened in the genre so a person takes the risk of the results of that so what will the result be for her it's the people gonna determine that is she gonna get majority support still that's highly unlikely with the culture that we have been raised in and the culture which is hand in hand with this genre and that's just the truth so you know i might be one of the more um milder ones or the more what if you say no ones who are like just observing and saying you know logically there's nothing we can do to change that she come and she tell with that um and then other people are piggyback off it and there's many more like them out there who not talk what if it was a man who come and say it i would have the same thing maybe that man would have get some type of sympathy or empathy like what she get now from a few people but it's not these few people whether within the culture or within the country that's gonna determine her musical future it's really the culture of the genre i just this other thing there and she coming at the thing come see it as it is so i don't like it i got change overnight mama and i now got change overnight right so sadly that's how it goes in jamaica those things and the culture never really go hand in hand so if a one lady over here won't come and say this or even when them display themselves in certain way and other music look how the people them do aisha now no no remember remember say aisha now come say equal rights and the people them bash her and go on and go on that not change her she still a be herself and do what she want and say what she want but the culture and the genre the culture which goes with the genre has shown that you know well maybe i shana 
you know, would have been on a different road had she not. Because we know the things that the culture uh, of the genre of reggae music will condone and will not condone. So, regardless of the fact that each person have them choice to make in a life and you know they have to condemn nobody still and as me say no matter how much fire anybody we are born fire and if you notice no heap of fire now born most of all the rest of them them now born no fire me feel so the rest of the community in a shop that are the first thing because people don't know these artists personally them not there on them them not flex on them them not know them life them not know what them are doing so when them are listen to music, them are go off of that. And music is a very spiritual and emotional thing. And she touch people's soul and people's heart and people's mind. So when she do that now and she hold the people them, then she'll come and tell the people them this in her real life. It'll go affect her and it'll affect the people them. It affect the people them. The, people, the me, part of why me probably have more of a tougher skin and being able to separate the individual from the music and sunshine said something very important to the big up sunshine and big up kishima francis on music news um sunshine said that you know it had it had it had it had for the people them so many people going through trauma so many people going through all kind of things with the way um, them life, them sexuality, them financial situation, all kind of something. So, when you put that out there now, you have to just deal with the consequences. Usually, in this case, the consequence is, and we have not seen this much. We've probably seen it once um, with Diana King, and that was a long time ago. Um, but... In between, we've seen other ladies who suggest different types of sexuality and things that they're involved in. And their music say a lot of things. Now, the men say a lot of things in the music too. Um, there is kind of a, not kind of, there is a double standard and a hypocrisy which exists in the culture and the genre as well. I'll say this and move on. And that is, if it was a man who came out and said this, there would be way more uproar as you saw with Dalton Harris, right? And if it's a woman, she will get a few little people who feel away and say, oh, because the whole country is like that. They they are more sympathetic towards the females um, who make that choice than to the males. In music, I don't think um, there has been another male who ever come up front and say, oh, this is me. The way that Dalton Harris did. Um, you might hear look a rumors here and there and look a so 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 and nothing real and sometimes I like them I tell pan them and them. Um, but that kind of something where the culture really accept. So yeah, I don't know, we'll watch and see. Um, but I know that in these instances it's the culture that supports the genre that is going to determine what happens to the person who bring this kind of information to the public as me said me never think at the right time you know me feel like she rushed to it um and at the end of the day i just see this whole thing as a whole mess it never had to go this way never had to go this way uh she really has come with some good music and she has an energy which I personally have supported just naturally and I don't really know her. I've met her once, like seen her once at a show. Um, but this is why as Miss Semi go back again, like I don't get myself attached to artists, period, actors, Hollywood stars, none of them, rappers. I don't get attached to these people. If I like the music or I like the song, I will bounce to it or like I will play it, right? But if it actually like have feelings towards these people, me learn not to do that long time plus me learn personally the hard way. Personally, right? So is is enough artists out there who uno adore and cherish 
doing some terrible things where if you did find out, like when you find out this, you would have said the same thing to when me I say that the culture don't support that. Right? So whether it was them revealing them sexuality or we find out say them a rapist, murderer, or whatever. The culture just wouldn't support that. It's a cultural thing for do with the genre. So, you know, I mean, right now I would say, all right, if we are to be truthful, it's two genres that are in the mix right now. Reggae and dancehall. Now, dancehall is more on the edge and even more hypocritical than reggae. Dancehall will tell, the man them will tell you 100 things about the different things them what them are doing at them bedroom and what them want to do with women and or women and them them tell us so much sometimes you wonder to yourself oh these people sit down and praise so much sexual lyrics you hear all kind of things that come from the man them in a dance hall and now the women too women are no longer afraid to talk about oral and all kind of different something so dance are more out there with that and still still if certain things go on the culture maybe only cartel alone me see get away with certain argument and certain things and the people i'm so loyal to him like it cultish you see me but if i other artists no them not upon that um so there's so much hypocrisy involved in this thing um especially as me say on the dancehall side somebody said we have to go make a freaky genre i think that is dancehall right now somebody said maybe by the end of the year we are going to hear a man, a man come out <laughs> we don't think them brave so we don't think them brave so i mean things say leela just panic i panic she panic because obviously somebody have something pan her and you know what as you can see from she come and do that the people them leave about to make no move whoever did want blackmail her just stand so back so she come come let out all of this power which people are say you know what it changed the narrative it changed the view and you can't stop people from feeling how them feel because i saw them feel just like how we can't stop she from choose she choose it she choose it just that fear and it, it messy it never hung up properly um but yeah man enough hypocrisy in a dance hall where this is concerned um a lot of men in dance all exploiting women for sexual reasons and doing all kinds of things over the years it's been this way and people turn a blind eye to a lot of the stuff that even they know that the artists are doing in real life and then now on the reggae side now still some hypocrisy but a little less and i'll tell you why because reggae has always been that genre of singing about goodness and cleanliness and righteousness and things where you know along the lines of godliness that's reggae we can't take that from reggae can't can't take that from reggae that is reggae reggae can play in a church convention anything where we do with goodness a reggae that reggae sing for poor people reggae tell about the pain in country what the people them go through and all of that that is reggae dance hall is more of an entertaining type of thing and somebody said i'm missing the conversation someone came out yes leela ik and jada kingdom in case you miss obviously you missed that and them the pan spice case for the pan some lgbt show canada so that are the thing in a dance hall um somebody said we well, don't know no hurt you exactly like we know artists where we know see us them steer we know people in the industry we know but them now come come tell we we know we not ask them and we know want to know right so them them know that see us culture works so them keep that to themselves some man or woman dead them way they and nobody don't know because really and truly we don't need to know we don't need to know we don't need to hear it especially in that in the way that we were hearing it like she basically did it out of fear and if it if you have chosen a lifestyle and you are proud of it there should be no fear you know what i mean so um yeah it's just messy and really and truly it boiled down to what me say i don't know i go see it liquor from now the genre is supported by a particular culture or cultural behavior and that is not gonna shift overnight 
and that is not in the favor of people who come and say this or make that choice or even suspected coming you know, on people who are just suspect it's suspect